Hello everyone, and welcome back to this let's play of Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode we had gone to the apothecary and looked at some potions and upgraded some. And here in this episode, unfortunately, he's going to be a bit more exploring in Haven and talking to a few more of his companions. So, well, we've got Solus right in front of us, so let's talk to him. The Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. Hmm. I'm not a hero. I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. Hmm. What do you mean ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. A little bit dangerous, is it not? You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I've found in every other Dragon Age game I've played that you can't stay still in a dungeon unless you kill everyone. And even sometimes in this game, some of the enemies respawn, so... <laughs> I know, for purposes, you know. I mean, it explains what it did, but still, bloody hell. You didn't even pay me to do that. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study, for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay, then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate mage surrounded by Chantry forces, and unlike you, I do not have a divine mark protecting me. Cassandra has been accommodated. But you understand my caution. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Still haven't decided whether I should go with the mages or the Templars. Oh, I've leveled up as well. Should put a point there. Hmm, what do I want to put it in? It's a question. I would like to improve my barrier magic. I could have sworn before this I maybe it was an update I had, but beforehand it was just you'd only have one of these, and now you can toggle them. I'm not sure if that's just because I recently bought the Trespasser DLC, and as a result, it's now to toggle upgrades. If anyone actually knows it, uh, feel free to tell me in the comments. If uh, land class by more stable, sorry. Still on the barrier as a class cast expires, the ability to score down time is reduced. Hmm. The barrier holds its full strength for longer before it starts begins to decay. So I've got to see what these are. Okay, so that's the same. Is that done this for everything? I mean, always look at light now. Damn, this just brings a whole new term to it. Two. 
Mm. Anyway, yeah, I'm focusing first on improving my barriers. But I'm going to go for the Night Enchanter specialisation. Just something about having that heal. Oh man, being able to cast it more often sounds better than it lasting longer, but. Ah, screw it. Right now, we just need to be careful not to do anything rash. The Chantry might yet forgive us. Forgive us? We have the Herald of Andraste. He was sent by the Maker himself. Some people have trouble believing Andraste would send a Canary to do her work. If Andraste gives you the nod, you should be good in the Chantry's eyes, shouldn't you? Not everyone saw the vision of Andraste. It's... it's just a tricky situation. Interesting. Looks like it changes every time. Last time I spoke to him, he was mentioning talk about whether the elves would be written into the Chant of Light. And you've seen no signs of Grey Wardens anywhere. I'll keep an eye out. Your servant. God, I still got to be sad. Oh, Maker, are you him? You were the Herald of Andraste, and you were sent to test us to see whether we would accept a Cunari as Andraste's chosen. I think everyone is worthy of love. The Maker just makes some of us larger and greyer than others. And, I mean, I'm Flissa. Can I get you a drink? It's all right, Felissa. I won't do anything frightening. If you wanted to close the breach, I wouldn't mind. As I said, I'm Felissa. The Inquisition soldiers needed a place to unwind, so Leliana brought me in to set up a tavern. Nothing fancy, but it's safer for the soldiers than looking for trouble in some village. You said Leliana asked you to run an Inquisition tavern. How did you meet? Dumb luck, maybe. I managed an inn back in Denerim. When I heard interesting gossip, I'd pass word to Liliana. Sometimes it was helpful. She asked if I wanted to own my own tavern, and I said yes. I didn't realize she meant this. What can you tell me about this area? Adan is Haven's apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harrit is the Inquisition smith. Whatever he can make you, Thren the quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Segrit. His prices aren't too high. Yet. Oh, there's also my knave. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Farewell. Goodbye. Listen. Yeah, you can always come here to listen to some music if you want. We'll play at least three or four songs, I think. Listen, though, that name rings a bell. And here we have Barrick. You'll be very welcome to Dragon Age 2. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening anymore. That makes two of us. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. Hmm. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. Uh, oh, were you fortunate? <laughs> I don't know. I suppose you were. It's pure luck that I escaped. Good luck or bad? You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. It's interesting. Need something? I see. I've read your tale of the champion, 
and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Let's see if my decisions actually did go through. What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while, but he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. You could choose that option, but if you do, he'll disapprove. So, if you don't want his disapproval, do not choose that. Did I say that right? Yeah. Only choose that if you want him to disapprove. There is no way Hawk really could have killed the Ereshock. It would have started a war with the Kanari. I was told later that the Kanari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Arashok didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, We will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Yeah, to be honest, who could explain what happened to Orsino in Dragon Age 2? It's weird. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars, so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the raiders. She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Hawk's little sister is in the Free Marches, helping some of the other survivors from the Kirkwall Circle. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. So yeah, interesting. Although, I'm not sure about the bit with Isabella and her going off to do her own thing, because from what I remember, at the end of Dragon Age 2, my Hawk had romanced Isabella got her full affection and everything. I remember Valak saying at the end of that that, you know, she stayed by his side, so conflict maybe, or maybe on the Dragon Age Keep import, I didn't put that, although the only option it gives you is to do romance. So. And I obviously put yes. So yeah, I mean, uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I'll quickly check up this area here. There might be something in here. If you see me regularly doing this, it's just because I'm trying to scan and make sure that I pick up everything. But anyway, yes, that's it for today's episode. And, yeah, I mean, again, it's just a bit of a slow manner. Hopefully there should only be one more episode, and I should be able to explore the rest. And then we'll maybe finally get down to the hinterlands so yeah one more episode to look forward to there <laughs> you know you can always skip it <laughs> but yeah if you like this episode then you know comment like or subscribe or do all three anyway i'll see you guys in the next episode thank you take care